Hey guys, I bought the cheapest 6 channel radio on the market, but is the total waste of money? Well, I think that this radio will surprise you. Stay tuned! So guys, I bought the cheapest 6 channel radio on the market and this thing even got a display. So I paid only 25 bucks for this radio, but is it any good? Well in this video we are going to find out and I think that this will surprise you. But let me first get everything out of the box and show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find a transmitter, we've got a 6 channel receiver, some instructions, an allen key and we've got a little wire which I think is for the telemetry of the battery voltage. So if that's true, that's also awesome. So let's have a closer look at the receiver. This is the receiver and this thing really looks solid. So it's very small as you can see and it feels very sturdy. So for me this is already a thumbs up. So we've got 6 ports over here and we've got a spare port on the bottom if you want to use some lights for example. So we've got here a little bind button. This is for the telemetry of the battery so and this is of course the antenna. And in the manual it's written that this thing is waterproofed from the factory so that's also a good thing. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter now. And here is the transmitter guys, just look at how this thing is built, you know, it looks a bit plasticky, but this thing feels very very solid. And the overall quality, I really like it. So you know, I paid only 25 bucks I think it was, so I'll put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. But for the money, this thing really feels awesome. So the build quality already is a thumbs up for me. So on the bottom of this, you will find the battery compartment. So you can run this on three different ways. So you can uh, run it on uh, four double A's. And when you remove this one, then you can insert a 2S LiPo battery. So the LiPo battery will run on the balance board. So it doesn't matter if you have a different connector, it will just run on the balance board and that's always a good thing. So the third option is this little compartment. And this is a battery compartment for an 18650 battery. So that's awesome that you can run it on three different battery types. As mentioned, the build quality feels very nice, so it's capable of one-hand driving and therefore they have added a little thumbstick, so that's a thumbs up for me. So we've got a foam wheel and we've got a disc brake and a caliper inside there and I really like the look of it. So yeah, the throttle stick is all okay, so it feels very nice. But a special feature about the throttle stick is that you can adjust the size of the hole. Just now uh, it's a little bit smaller, but you can use a little allen key right over there to tighten it, but you can adjust it for your finger, so that's awesome. So let's have a closer look at all the buttons. So we've got six channels, so this is channel number one, channel number two and channel number three is a push button. Channel number four is a three position switch and channel number five and six are just push buttons on the top of here. So we've got two dials and I think this is for the dual rate. We've got a lot of uh, your arrow buttons right over there. This is your on off switch and two other ones. So this is your lanyard connection. We've got the USB-C connector but I'm not sure what this is for and I couldn't find any information in the manual. So we have to find out uh, ourselves. So let me throw in a battery and show you when it's on. And here is the display guys, so on the top left you will find the battery voltage of the battery which you have installed. On the bottom left you will find the battery voltage of the telemetry function and the T is for the signal strength. But yeah, currently there is nothing because we didn't connect anything. And we've got a little mix mode uh, icon right over there. But I will just make a small setup and then we are going to test all the buttons. I just made a small setup and let me demonstrate all the channels. So this is channel number one, channel number two and channel number three is this one and that's this push button. So as you can see it is a locking servo. So I'm not sure if you can change it into an inching servo but I think I will make a separate video about how to set everything inside this transmitter. So this is channel number uh, four and that's this three position switch right over here and channel number five and six are positioned right over there. So let me give you some simple tips about this transmitter. The first thing I want to show you is how to reverse the steering wheel and the throttle. So currently this is my steering servo and it goes into the opposite direction of my steering wheel. And if you want to change that, press this button until you hear the beeping sound. Do you hear the beeping sound? And now if I touch the trigger or the steering wheel it will be reversed. So now I'm going to touch the steering. And now you can see it has been re uh, reversed and it goes into the same direction. So this only works for the steering and the throttle and I didn't find a way to do it for the other channels. So that's a bit of a downside about this transmitter. 
I just wanted to demonstrate to you how to set the end points of channel number 3, 4, 5 and 6. But unfortunately I can't get it to work. So I tried everything. I read the manual a couple of times. I tried everything on the transmitter. And still I cannot set the end points of channel number 3, 4, 5 and 6. And maybe it's me. But maybe it's the manual. Maybe it's the transmitter. For now I'm not sure. But already I sent an email to the company. Tried to get some answers. But for now I cannot show you how to set the end points. So that's a big downside in my opinion. But let me me summarize this transmitter for you. So guys, this review went a little bit different than I planned, but you know, sometimes that happened. So I think I've got a faulty transmitter, but besides that, I really like this transmitter. It's very sturdy, you can run it on three different battery types, it's capable of one and driving, we've got six channels, we've got even a battery telemetry function on there, and I paid only 23 euros or bucks for it, so I think that's an awesome buy. So the transmitter, or sorry, the receiver is very small, also six channels, we've got a telemetry function and an extra port for some lights if you want to do you so so overall for the money i think that this is a pretty good transmitter all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye